Hey, I'm Emily Jo Ariel. And I'm Landy Gosnell. And this is Blitz. Welcome to Blitz. I'm Brian Carr. I got two Lady Raiders here with me at Habersham Central. I have senior middle hitter Lainey Gosnell and senior setter Emily Jo Ariel. Uh, girls, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And uh, I know you all got to be excited about, about the season coming up. Uh, but I'm going to start with you, Lainey. Um, just talk about the, the bittersweet emotions that come with entering your senior year. It seems like you've been around forever because we've been hearing your name for so long. But at the same time, it goes by so quick. Um, so I know there's all those emotions. I know you have some high expectations for yourself this year. Well, coming in as a freshman, I was like, this is going to last forever. And I've been through three different classes. And, like, this last year, my senior year, has been bittersweet. Like you said, like, this summer has absolutely flown by. But, like, not only that, like, I just love the girls I play with. I've, played, I've known these girls since I was little. And, like, this is the only team I've ever been on that's, like, no drama whatsoever. And everyone gets along. There's, like, no cliques. Everyone, like, likes each other. We would just got back from camp and literally everyone just hangs out and enjoys being around each other and that's some of the main things I'm going to miss obviously playing volleyball but just being around these girls 24 7 has just been an awesome experience. Sure and that's exactly where we're going next. Emily Joe, talk about just how close this group of girls is because even just coming in here and getting to watch you all practice for a little bit there was just that feel of, of unity that I saw out there in just a very short time so uh, I imagine you are really close. Yes, yeah, so we're definitely like a family on and off the court. We all, you know, as you saw at practice, like we're able to goof around yet still have the serious um, seriousness that you need. Um, even on game time, we're still like that. And it helps ease some of the pressure that we're able to still be friends even when, you know, you're in a game situation and you're able to listen to each other better because if it's someone that you're not very close with or you don't respect very much, it's harder to, you know, take their advice or to listen to what they're saying on the court. But when you're friends like that, it's a lot easier to play together. Now for both of you, I know that this year is so important because uh, unfortunately the last three years you, you've had a competitive team but haven't been able to make it to the state tournament, especially uh, your freshman year you go 29 and 13 or something like that and somehow you just miss out. The last two years you've gone 17 and 21. What would it mean to you to make it to the state tournament in your senior year? Well, like I said earlier, I've been on this team for four years now and literally when I heard the region we were going to be playing in, I was so excited, not just because like – it's the teams we're playing, but just the fact that we're going to be able to com compete and enjoy. And I think that it means more playing people that, like, you know, because we know people from these, this region. And, like, it just means that much more. And I think that we have a really good chance of being region champs this year. And that just gets us so excited and sets our goals so high. That's exactly, again, where I'm going next with Emily Joe. But um, talk again about the, about the region. And I'm sure it's nice, you know, it feels like a, a better fit for Habersham Central than it has the last, the last few years being in uh, 7-6A and then 6-6A. We're definitely going to be able to compete a lot more than we had been the past years. We would kind of hang with them a little bit, but, you know, you get kind of lost behind whenever they're all – giant girls and yeah. you know we're Habersham so but this next year uh, we've been playing these uh, teams out of region in our past years and so we'll know how to play these girls and kind of know how they work as a team as well and so we should be able to you know like Lainey said become region champs is our goal. So. Now Lainey you're going to get kind of two questions in one here. Um, what has it been like for you to be a four-year starter in both basketball and volleyball? Uh, there's not many people that, for one, can even play two varsity sports, let alone one at some, you know, for some people. But uh, to be able to have this much experience over four years has to be a, a tremendous feeling. Um, one of the main things was when I first came in, like I felt like I got handed the leadership role as a boat on both sports and like it's just really been an awesome experience to have not only like my teammates look up to me but like fans and that kind of stuff and like being able to like hold the fact that I <laughs> you can you can just pick up you can just pick up from there because I can the fact that like everyone looks up to me how do you say that I can manage how our team plays. If I'm down, then they look to me, and they play down. And if I play up, then like we're all up. And I just, I feel like I can hold the energy of our team, and I like, I love that feeling because the friendship and the bonds I've made on this team has just made me such a better leader. And playing all four years, and I experience, and I feel like I'm a totally different player from a freshman year to my senior year. And I'm really looking forward to what we can do with that, those skills this year. 
Well, I'm going to ask you to look in your crystal ball and give us your prediction of at the end of this volleyball season, where, when the dust all settles, where did the Lady Raiders end up? I think definitely region champs, but I think we make it to we make it second round in the state tournament. Now, Emily, Joe, you and the rest of the girls uh, varsity team got to go uh, experience um, a camp in, in, at Clemson University. Talk about what the girls gained from that experience. What did you take away from that? Um, well, we definitely played a lot of solid teams that, you know, usually if you play teams, there's some girls that aren't as um, skilled, and all of the girls that we played were all – very solid in their skills and so um, that was good to see that and know that we can hang with those teams and we can play them pretty well. Um, we learned a lot of new techniques from our coach at Clemson and we're able to take that into this next season and use it to our advantage. Okay well girls here we go we're going to do a lightning round where I'm going to ask you something and you both have to answer so the advantage is going to be on whoever goes second out of you two and I'll try my best to alternate that um, but we really just want you to say the first thing that pops in your mind. So for anyone watching, they have not heard any of these at all. So we're just going to roll through them. Okay. I'll start with you, Lenny, because you're used to that leadership role going first. So uh, your favorite pro athlete and team? Steph Curry. Um, I guess the Warriors. Steph Curry, the Warriors. <laughs> I okay. don't watch sports. Okay, so you don't watch sports? Well, I don't watch other sports besides volleyball. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, your least favorite class? Math. Lit. Okay. Uh, favorite food and drink? Um, pizza and Coke. Um, oysters and Coke. That's got to be the weirdest one I've heard. <laughs> okay, most embarrassing moment? Okay. okay. Um, whenever I'm going to set and I've got my hands up and it goes like straight in between and hits me on the head. Right in between the eyes. Okay. Laney? Mine's probably when the other team has an overpass and I'm just sitting there waiting to hit it and I jump up and I miss it completely. <laughs> okay. So this one might put a little pressure on both of you. Favorite teammate? That can be in any sport. Hallie Black. Katarina Shalikashvili. <laughs> okay. Um, record that you'd most like to have? That could be on the court or elsewhere. Undefeated. Undefeated. Nice. There's some unity there. Uh, superstitions. Uh, we always do our prayer before every game. Prayer, and we have like a clapping thing that I think intimidates the other team maybe. Okay. Craziest thing that Coach Heron has done or said. She fell in Abby Cathcart's sweat after she was busting us out at a practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you top that one? Um, she told us on our actually at Clemson camp that if we beat one of the teams that she would twerk for us that night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in light of all that, this one, this one kind of gets us back in a zone here. Um, thing that you'd most want to be remembered for here at Habersham Central? Um, my attitude. Okay. Um, being a leader and like someone that other setters or other people that are on are going to be on Habersham teams that they look up to and want to be like. Awesome. Well, girls, thank you again so much. Really appreciate it. And I'm excited to see what this year brings for both of you and, and the rest of the team. Thank you. <laughs>